Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn speed up Magento 2. So let's start how we can speed up the Magento 2. First of all, you need to enable the flat categories and the products. You need to go stores, configuration. Let me open it. Let me reload. Admin. So we have logged in, go to the stores, configuration, catalog, we have catalog, go to the flat, product to image result recently, stores, Catalog, catalog storefront. Here we have the uh, flat use flat catalog category, use flat catalog product. For this, you need to make it yes for both of times and save the configuration, right? So it will speed up your uh, like category loading the categories and the uh, products easily, right? So the next step we are going to do merge CSS and JS files. So here you need to go to the stores, stores, configuration. In configuration here we need to go <coughs> advanced developer, advanced developer. Here we have the settings CSS and JavaScript. Merge JavaScript files. Yes or no. Enable JavaScript bundling. Yes or no. What is JavaScript bundling? So we, if you enable this JavaScript bundling, what happens? It, it will increase the page load size because um, you can see the ma maximum to maximum page load size should be less so that the load page load would be the more, right? So you don't need to enable the JavaScript bundling. So it will add much more files into it. So make it no. Enable JavaScript files merging, yes. Minify JavaScript, yes. Okay, so you can do the settings according to your management right after that we have the css settings do you want to merge all the css files minify css files right you can add it okay image adapter basically is php gd2 after that move to the next step we have to deploy the code into the production server production mode right currently when we do the development we are we are just writing the code and check whether the errors are coming or not after all the all everything is done you need to move the magento into the production mode so you need to add the command php bin magento deploy mode set production right you need to deploy the mode in production after that we have the content delivery network so uh, if you want to like third party like uh, rendering the data from the third party and it will speed up your like the loading of the website like cdn you can say so where we need to go go to the journal web base urls here base urls for the static view files base url for the media files right you can add both of the both of the content delivery management uh, urls put it here save the configuration all the data will be loaded from the that cdn cdn may be the cloudways um maybe this one which one cloudways is there the best CDN is Cloudways. Another, you can check which one is the best CDN that you can use it and configure it over here, right? After that, we will go for the caching. You need to enable the caching as usual. System, here is a cache management. All this caching would be enabled, right? We have already, I already enabled this. Next step, we have enable compression. To GD compression, you need to add the code in the HTS file and it will done. After that, you don't check the third party modules. Sometimes what happens, it will slow up your, like you are adding modules, modules like, uh, from the extensions marketplace. And you you never come to know like whether this extension is the issue or this extension is, has the cause of, of the Magento slow. So you need to what you have to do. You need to de disable that plugin and check the speed is optimized or not. After doing such kind of hit and trial method, you will get to know that which module has the issue in the Magento speed, right? So this is the point. After that, you need to choose the fastest hosting 
that you can afford right so choose the fastest hosting we have the cloudways we have different different uh, like amazon you can use so you can use different different versions of uh, like different different hosting plan, hosting services which one the best you suited for the magento you can add it over here right so it's better because for to load the magento websites next one and never use the javascript bundling i already explained it right and what we missed missed uh, i guess we missed image optimization you need to do the uh, image optimization uh, using the linux command because it supports the linux so you, there is a command in linux like uh, you, it will optimize all the jpg images right and what we left uh, image compression is done uh, optimize uh, page load we have done and yeah we have covered all the things right so this is how we can uh, optimize the magento like this is pretty 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 features of the magento that will help you to optimization what we have adding the content delivery page caching caching of the page like we have forgot like we have the vanish cache we have the full page cache and we have the redis cache so uh, if you want to you can also for the redis cache, redis cache you need to set up a server for that and that will make the cache and it will increase your load page speed load if very well so you can set up the redis cache also but by default magento has already vanish and the full page cache so if you go to the stores configuration and here we have uh, advance system where we have full page cache vanish cache recommended or built in cache you are going to use so if you are using this one you need to configure this right vanish cache okay so it's you can also do that if the it is has no effect then you can use the radis cache just install it set up it and that's it we are going to go, good to go right so this is how we can optimize uh, optimize the magento in a very efficient way that we have predefined structure in magento right some like three four points that you need to do that is extra one but rest magento has the configuration to do that right so i hope you will understand how to optimize the magento if you have any issues in that just let me know please check, before purchasing any theme if you are installing any theme or something like you can check the optimization first before installing any extension anything else right so that you can come to know that if, if the speed is this one now why it's decreasing if you are adding modules modules then it will definitely which module you uh, has a bottleneck of that you need to check which by enabling or disabling that module right so thank you so much for watching this video have a great day please do like share and comment